Hi Taurus, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to those who are new. Two hearts, one soul, 1111 tarot. I don't know why that sounded awkward. Okay, Taurus, let's get into this. I did you, um, I pulled you guys a quantum oracle and I got great achievement events. With this coming out, Taurus, whatever you've been working on a project or it's just something you've been putting a lot of plan and action into and you're about to re reap the rewards. And I think there's going to be uh, for some for a lot of you, this is uh, related to like an, an creative endeavor. I did see the three of cups while in this energy look and then the eight of pentacles because I was shuffling off camera. So it's like you've been putting in a lot of hard work towards something and you will reap those rewards and there'll be a time to celebrate. However, at the bottom of the de deck, Taurus, I have kinder partnerships. This card speaks of maybe a union or just someone new coming in, like a, a, a someone that's like you have a soul connection with coming in. If you haven't met this person now, you're going to meet them in the not so distant future when this card comes out. This person also, for some of you, can act as like a teacher or guide, someone that can help you. So if this is not uh, for you, if you're like already in a relationship or, you know, right now you're just not in that place to where you want to try to start something new, then this person, this kinder, per this person could actually be just like a teacher, somebody that can help guide you throughout um, as far. Look, and then you got creative endeavor and also supportive new connections and then professional assistance. So. There's just a sense of you getting people that are more supportive of you where in the past you may have to walk. Even my shuffling, I've seen that some of you guys <coughs> had to walk away from a lot of uh, friendships or even family uh, or relationships where you were pretty close with those people and you kind of had like good times with them. And for the time being, you guys been focusing a lot more on work. And now here comes more people that are like you, some people that can support you on this part of your journey moving forward. Okay, Taurus, let's get some cards to get a little bit more info. Messages for Taurus. Uh, transformation. So that's the trans that's things like you had to end things and now new bet new things coming out. You did a lot of transforming, uh transmuting energy. Some of you guys could have been dealing with the Scorpio R. A Capricorn you may meet, that's the person you may meet may be a Scorpio or a Capricorn. Yeah, King of Cups, strong Scorpio. But um, you had to do a lot of transforming, like that the negativity in your life. You've been working hard on it. And now it's like the, the other side where the rewards come in. The purity from this white. Um, yeah, four pentacles came out in reverse. So letting go. Are just not holding back anymore, too. But look at the bottom of the deck. We have the three of swords. So there's a lot of um, disappointments you guys are letting go of. Or this was once you were kind of holding on to the way things disappointed. This is your uh, your your dreams. The things you put hard work and effort energy into with the seven of pentacles actually coming into fruition. This happened and because you were able to let go. You see how he's looking at the four of pentacles because you were able to let go. Now that new beginning comes in with the seven and the four. Now that new beginning comes in something more stable. Look something more stable you've built that foundation for yourself and now you can look towards it with like anticipation and vision plan more for the future um to kind of take things a little farther another card for taurus seven of wands so standing up for the things you've been uh you believed in your skill set the things you the self mastery people looking at um, whatever it is that you do, you're really good at it. And people are looking at that and taking notice. Then you have the will of fortune underneath there where things finally change and turn into you got two cards of massive change. And not only was the you shed a skin, but this also is change in a massive way going the way you would like it to go in your favor. I also have the hermit card here, too. So you maybe had uh, some time where you've been alone Kind of just doing a lot of soul searching, figuring out where you want to go, how you want to go with this. Some of you guys may even, I do see the two of cups and that could uh, symbolize this kinder partnership right here 
Well, maybe you've been um, kind of thinking about what do you want in a friendship or a partnership moving forward. And then but while, while doing that, I feel like you were manifesting it. And now these things actually come into your um, existence. Why is a death card here? Let's do some clarifying. Why is a death card here, angels? Yeah. Having the strength and then you have strength and then the three of swords. So being strong to transform, like shed that old skin, these past disappointments and kind of move into the future. For some of you guys, this heartbreak came from like family and friends from the past. Even people you've long known a long time ago. Soulmate also. But you have two sixes under here. So that symbolized the uh, balance and harmony that's coming in where once you felt left out of a certain situation or like that lack or just things not working out the way you planned on it. And you were kind of worried about would this ever come? And with this coming out, you know that it's coming soon. Four of Pentacles. You have two sevens here too. So whatever this was, it was more of like a spiritual involvement too with these two sevens coming out. Letting go. Uh, you finally seen the truth of a situation and that's what, that's what helped you kind of let go of it. Your intuition could have told you. Then you have the magician underneath here too. So your intuition could have told you it was time to let go of them things in order for you to manifest better too. And another thing this could be saying is that... Um, you just knew it was time. You knew it was time to kind of take control of this. I think you kind of like intuitively knew that this thing, or the things you expected with great achievement in the Seven of Pentacles, you kind of intuitively knew that these things were coming too. Why is the Four of Swords, well, the Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords here, please, Andrews? That in that in you just knew it was time with that in um, hermit card. <coughs> could have been um, there could have been a Virgo or a Leo involved too. Page of Pentacles. So deep down inside, you knew it was time to kind of start your life over, and with the King of Swords, make decisions that was best for you. You know, and by doing this, you got you kind of gave yourself, showed yourself a lot of self love. And kind of refilled your own cup and provided like a peace of mind, that balance for yourself. Why is it seven of pentacles here? That king of rods. Taking action and going towards what you want in the three of pentacles. So you see, this is your dreams from this great achievement, whatever you are working on coming into fruition. You may receive a message about this very soon from maybe somebody afar, somebody who's been watching you too. Stood your ground so you can have that inner peace. Just kind of got away from conflict and with the seven of swords, got away I mean, seven, not seven of swords, a seven of wands. So there may have been a little lying and cheating, um, just like uh, energies that wasn't healthy for you before that. And you just kind of knew it was time to start over. Ace of Pentacles. There's that new beginning I, I kind of felt with these two cards coming in. You may receive... Um, may receive so yeah that's what I was going to say you may receive some communication soon or just something coming towards you really soon you waited for this too you've been <laughs> you've been waiting for this to come and throughout that it kind of caused a lot of conflict you could have been dealing with the Pisces or Gemini or these may be just energies that come into your life now that um you're kind of doing things a little different yeah that's that in, in internal conflict or just the mental conflict about when things were going to start over but the good thing is all those swords all that all that is over and this is your new beginning okay Taurus 
This is what I have for you. Hope it helps. Bye.